These 15 travel hacks can help you save a bunch of money in 2023. Travel is one of life's great joys, yet it can be an extremely costly activity. Here are a few simple tips to make your money go farther for individuals trying to minimize costs on their next trip without sacrificing any of the fun. 1A Take the less traveled path Instagram is full of photographs of breathtakingly beautiful destinations that we all desire to see. However, many of these sites are either too expensive to travel to or prohibitively expensive once there. Instead, of visiting bucket list sites, seek areas that are a bit farther off the main road. 1B Take the less traveled path Budget airlines are ideal for this because they link to smaller, less congested airports and cities, making it easy to discover new locations to visit. Similarly, rail travel can provide access to areas not accessible by aircraft. 2A Stay for more than two nights, with limited time to explore as much as possible, many travelers will only remain in one spot for one night. A better choice is to utilize the same hotel as a base to explore the surrounding region since spending three or more nights will generally result in a lower lodging fee. 2B Stay for more than two nights Many hotels and guest houses provide a discount to customers who stay for a prolonged period of time. Many hotels in the UAE, for example, provide discounts for multiple night bookings. Special offers may be found on the property's website. 3. Book your breakfast. This is a simple approach to reduce your everyday food expenditure. Eat a big breakfast before venturing out to explore, eliminating the need for costly snacks on route and preparing you for a busy day of exploration ahead. 4A Use local transport or a walk. Walking is the greatest and cheapest method to get to know a new city or neighborhood, so put on your most comfortable shoes and open Google Maps. If walking isn't your thing, or the weather isn't cooperating, try the local bus or subway system. 4B Use local transport or a walk. The same is true for transportation from the airport to your accommodation and vice versa. Alternatively, seek resorts that include airport pickup and the accommodation fee. 5A Invest in a cultural pass. Many large cities have a pass that grants entry to many museums and attractions, so for visitors wishing to visit a variety of cultural institutions during their trip, this is a great way to save money. 5B Invest in a cultural pass. You may typically discover one that caters to your unique interests as well. In Spain, for example, the Barcelona card provides free admission to more than 25 museums and attractions, discounts at more than 70 places, from cultural stops to tours and restaurants, the ability to bypass the queue in select areas, and free public transportation. The Articut Barcelona Museum Pass, on the other hand, includes access to six of the city's best art institutions, as well as fast-track entrance and admittance to both temporary and permanent exhibitions. 6. Eat street food, eating street food, and picking it wisely, is an excellent way to interact with the local culture, no matter where you are. Look for establishments that are crowded with residents rather than tourists, as this indicates that the cuisine is delicious, and the large turnover of customers guarantees that everything is freshly made. However, use your common sense. Raw foods, such as sushi, should never be bet on. Keep in mind that it's generally the rice or ice that gets you. 7A Don't eat out in a tourist area, while eating lunch overlooking the Colosseum in Rome is a dream come true, be warned, you will pay much for the opportunity. In Florence, for example, cafes facing the Duomo would charge three times the usual amount for a cappuccino than those in other parts of the city. 7B Don't eat out in a tourist area, take the time to seek out little coffee shops, cafes, and restaurants on major city back streets. Look for areas where the locals eat, much like you would for street food. It will be a better meal at a lower cost. 8. Carry a refillable water bottle. Not only does purchasing bottled water contribute to pollution, but the markup is sometimes eye-watering. On a two-week journey, the total cost of water will easily pay for one lunch. Bring your own bottle of water and fill it up at public fountains, which are available in many places throughout the world, or tap water, only if it's safe to drink in the nation. This will help you keep well hydrated. 9. Use local supermarkets, ask for instructions from the neighborhood grocery store instead of depending on room service for your snacks and beverages so you may get what you need there. This will cost a fraction of the price and contribute directly to the local economy. Also, never, ever consume anything from the hotel minibar because the markup is usually enormous. 10. Stay for free with locals, this kind of transportation is well known in several nations. For instance, in Nepal, individuals who hike many mountain treks can stay in local houses while simply paying for their food. However, if this is how you travel, take care not to misuse it. 
Give your host a reasonable gratuity and a fair payment for the food. If your host is embarrassed by your gesture, suggest giving it to the kids instead. 11. Travel overnight. Although there are still less expensive choices available, airline fares have surely increased since the outbreak as the tourism sector strives to recover the billions it has lost. For instance, booking a ticket during an off-peak time will always result in a reduced price. Likewise, check for overnight sleeper tickets for bus and train trips. The novelty of awakening while the outside world zooms by the window makes for an exciting journey. 12A Hagelib Markets Having to haggle over the price of everything might be perplexing and even a bit tiresome for people who were not born in a culture that practiced bargaining. However, haggling is ingrained in the culture of many nations. 12B Haggle at Markets First, realize that you are a visitor in someone else's nation, thus accept the fact that you will never pay for what natives do. Anyone who has been to Marrakesh, Morocco, Stone Town, Zanzibar, or Istanbul, Turkey, for example, will tell you that it is difficult to outperform street vendors. Reduce the outrageous beginning price by a third, smile, and try your best. Even though you will unavoidably overpay for the item, you will receive complimentary tea and a fantastic conversation in exchange. 13 Ago Off-Season The summertime in Portofino, Italy, is beautiful, but the streets will be bustling with visitors, and navigating the throng will dull the experience. Instead, avoid traveling during the busiest times of the year if you can, as doing so may save you a ton of money overall. 13B Go Off-Season In an effort to draw in a lesser number of guests, everything from flights to hotels to shopping will be more affordable. For instance, Bethlehem is crowded during the holiday season, but Rome resembles a human zoo in August. Turn these around if you're bold. Rome is stunning in February, whereas Bethlehem is cool in the summer. 14A Don't only follow guidebooks, avoid rigidly adhering to the route outlined in a guidebook unless you have a compelling reason to stand in line for an hour to snap the exact same picture as everyone else. They are helpful for acquiring information, but they should only be used as a beginning point. 14B Don't only follow guidebooks, of course, there are outliers, like LondonxLondon.com, which provides a list of 56 unusual things to visit across the city, some of which are so outlandishly unique that even most Londoners have never heard of them. 15A Ask the locals for advice, require a taxi. For advice on what a reasonable tourist tariff should be, consult the hotel staff. Even better, ask them to make the cab reservation so you won't have to, and you'll know the cost up front and avoid conflicts. 15B Ask the locals for advice, there will always be those eager to take advantage of the gullible, whether it's in Beirut or Bangkok. Most tourist-dependent areas have a limited window of opportunity to generate enough money to last a year. Know in advance what fare costs should be, keeping in mind that you will almost certainly pay more if you are a tourist. 15C Ask the locals for advice, similar to this, ask around for recommendations for the greatest cuisine in the area if you want to discover a fun place to dine. Asking a local where they would eat may start a completely new conversation and lead you to locations that you might not have discovered otherwise. Too frequently, it is thought that visitors prefer to eat familiar food while surrounded by other tourists. Thank you for watching, following the mentioned hacks will save a bunch of penny in your pocket, so what are you waiting for? Try it and book somewhere to go. Much love and enjoy everyone.